Microsoft patented a chatbot that would let you talk to dead people. It was too disturbing for production. Yeah, right? Right? <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Let's, let's uh, play a little bit of the video so I can drink some coffee. Let's see. What do they have to say? Here we go. Artificial intelligence, right? Speaking of dead people. Here we go. I am Neon. I am an artificial human. I'm still learning about how humans talk, behave, and move. We have smiles. Or perhaps surprise. So what is a Neon? It's a new kind of virtual being that looks 100% real, behaves like a human, but which is computationally generated. Is Neon an AI assistant? No. Neon is more like your dear diary that you talk to, is your friend that you build memory with. And what are the use cases for something like this? Use cases, it can be your next financial advisor. A Neon can be a hotel receptionist. He or she can be a simply a friend. And what does that mean for jobs? Then. The Neon is not created to replace the human jobs. Neons are created to help where humans cannot reach the language barriers. A Neon can be a doctor where remote places a doctor cannot reach. So I'll ask her to say a few phrases in different languages. Maybe something like this. So clearly, let's see what this Hi. thing says. Welcome to CES. In any case, uh, so, so what they're allowing this to do, let's read a little bit of this article here. So a patent granted to Microsoft last month details a method for creating a controversial chatbot modeled after a specific person. Now, clearly, right, if it's a AI generated person, right, it's a little bit weird, but still, it's not a real person. Uh, but... Uh, this specific person could be a past or present entity, such as a friend, a relative, an acquaintance, a celebrity, a fictional character, or a historical figure, according to the filing with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. The technology is reminiscent of a fictional app in a dystopian TV series, Black Mirror, that allowed a character to continue chatting with her boyfriend after he dies in an accident by pulling information from his social media. Want to talk music with David Bowie or get some words of wisdom from your late grandmother? This this tool would theoretically make it possible, but don't get too excited or freaked out for that matter. The company isn't planning to turn the technology into an actual product. Yeah, well, maybe these guys aren't, but uh, of course we know how this this goes. Once somebody can do it, somebody will do it. And well, coming coming to a, well, I don't know, maybe I'd like to talk politics with Abraham Lincoln, right? How could 